Sevierville is a place jam-packed with attractions and restaurants, so it can be kind of hard to discern where to go and what to eat. We knew we wanted to stay local, and this bad boy has it right in the name. It's the local goat. The diverse menu made it pretty hard to choose, but after some time perusing, we knew we had to get some spinach artichoke dip to start. It's classic and delicious. Theirs is also served with house-made pico, which added some nice freshness. For our meals, Johnny B went with some lighter fare in the southern salad. Hand-breaded chicken tenders over fresh greens, bacon, cheddar cheese, tomatoes, carrots, and croutons, with a honey mustard dressing on the side. She made a few alterations to remove cranberries and egg, but those come on the classic southern. I went for something a little more adventurous and the teriyaki kebabs. It's teriyaki marinated tenderloin served with broccoli and fried rice. I actually really enjoyed the sweetness, but if you're looking for something a little more salty and savory, then I'd go for their classic steaks instead. To cap off dinner, we knew we had to try one of their house-made desserts. So originally we ordered the chocolate peanut butter pie, but because it was so popular, we ended up having to go with their house-made cheesecake. It tastes more like an Italian-style ricotta cheesecake, and it's served with a fresh strawberry coolie, which was our favorite part. Thank you to Sandy for having us. We love visiting the local goat and seeing the incredible crowd of people supporting this locally owned and operated restaurant. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all.